go to YouTube is underscore curly underscore k underscore. You know, watch it. Uh, well, we're gonna be reacting to GTA entire entire storyline in three minutes. Y'all don't know what GTA is. Y'all probably don't or do, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. Well, this I was gonna explain to you. So say I like you. Hey, I was just talking to. This is the story of the Grand Theft Auto games one through five, as well as Vice City and San Andreas in three minutes. Let's begin. Liberty City, Anywhere City, San Andreas, and Vice City. Four utopias of crime, murder, drugs, and extortion. As police fail to get a handle on the drug epidemic raging through the city's blocks, criminals and kingpins rule the town as warlords. Mafia dons control street thugs, bandits, and hitmen, using them to do their bidding. The police force, corrupt beyond belief, is crippled by the pervasive law breaking. Vice City, new home to Tommy Versetti, a criminal released from prison after murdering nearly a dozen men with extreme prejudice. His old boss, Sonny, hires Tommy once again and places him in control of the drug trade in Vice City. After a drug trade goes bad, Tommy vows to find those who ambushed him. He takes odd jobs as a hitman for Vice City residents, but eventually finds the man who attacked him at the drug trade, kills him, and takes over his enterprise. As Tommy becomes Vice City's new drug kingpin, he refuses to cut Sonny a share. Sonny teams up with Tommy's partner, Lance, to take back Vice City, but Tommy catches wind of their agreement and murders them both. Tommy continues to rule Vice City with an iron fist. In San Andreas, a police officer named Tenpenny murders a fellow officer who is reporting Tenpenny's corruption to internal affairs. Tenpenny blames the murder on a gangster named CJ, who returns from a life in Liberty City to investigate his mother's murder. Tenpenny promises not to turn CJ into the authorities if CJ does whatever he asks. CJ attempts to build his own gang back up. His brother is thrown in prison, and CJ is forced to murder people who have evidence against Tenpenny. CJ ignites gang wars, gets rich. Tenpenny is investigated by the government, and CJ's brother is released from prison. Together, they hunt down Tenpenny and kill him. In Liberty City, a criminal named Claude is broken out of police custody and hunts down the girlfriend that betrayed him. He meets the Leone Mafia family and works his way up their ranks. Claude initiates a gang war between the Leones and the Yakuza and continues to hunt down his girlfriend. He finds her, kills her, and Claude breaks free of his criminal record to live in peace. Years later, a man named Nico comes to Liberty City to search for a traitor in his army unit. While searching, Nico becomes locked in ongoing feuds between local gangs and a government agency known as United Liberty Paper. He is hired as a hitman to take down known terrorists in exchange for information on the man who betrayed his army unit. ULP gives him the info. He kills the traitor and then murders local drug lords so he can continue living in Liberty City in peace. In Los Santos, a man in the Witness Protection Program named Michael Townley teams up with his friend Franklin to pay off a drug lord. They and their friend Trevor are found by the Federal Investigation Bureau and are forced to investigate a rival agency. They plan one last heist, turn against the gangs and government agencies that hired them to begin with, then go their separate ways. And that's Grand Theft Auto in three minutes. I'd like to thank you guys for watching.